Well, we simulated magnetic problem and found eighty currents and powerlessness in our heated body, in our steel tube. Then we simulated coupled multi-physics thermal problem and found temperature distribution. And from the temperature distribution and from the temperature difference between heated and cold parts of our steel tube, we may guess the thermal stress but with quick field you don't have to guess you can calculate the stress let me show you here is the mechanical problem I use the same geometry model but for mechanical problem I specify mecha mechanical properties for objects. So my steel tube is heated and I would like to calculate the stress distribution in my steel tube. This is the mechanical properties for my steel tube. And I specify coefficients of thermal expansion but I don't specify the temperature difference here again this problem is linked it is linked to a thermal problem it takes the temperature distribution from the thermal problem to calculate the mechanical stress and my thermal problem is linked to magnetic problem so I have three linked problem from magnetic to thermal and from thermal to stress now let's take a look at the result this is our heated tube it's a cross section of our tube this is our tube steel tube and I see only the upper half of the tube in my model so if you heat the tube here it becomes a little thicker at this place and again of course you can adjust the field picture for example this is the stress color map of stress distribution and you can see local values and you can see plots here I select the tube surface and this is the displacement this is the cold part of my tube and this is the heated part of my tube Thus, with quick field, you can calculate mechanical problem. And another problem I would like to show you is an electric simulation. At high frequency and high voltage, the shortage is possible between the inductor coil and the heated object. With quick field, we can calculate the electric problem and calculate the electric field stresses distribution. So this is my electric problem. I use the same geometry model, but in electric problem, I specify electric properties of objects. So. I set the electric permittivity of the air and I set the voltage for my coil 
and the tube is ground connected so the voltage is zero now let's take a look at the field picture again you can adjust the field picture you can see the potential lines and now this is the color map the electric field state color map and you can calculate local values and see the electric strength in different points. All the models I have shown you today are applicable to other induction heating systems, of course. I have shown you how to solve basic tasks. I simulated magnetic problem, power losses, thermal problem were calculated. All the time I worked with Quick Field through its graphic user interface using keyboard and the mouse, but it's also possible to work with Quick Field through its programming interface.